And here's another study uh, comparing what's called the Leon Diet Heart Study. This study took patients who already had a heart attack and therefore likely to get another one. And what they did, they split them into two groups. And one group got um, the recommended American Heart Association diet. And the other got a radical diet, lots more fruits and vegetables, uh, more fish. And they took out virtually all the omega-6 fatty acids by giving them margarine. Margarine rich in trans fatty acids. So they say, well, who thought up this experiment? Dr. Mengele? This is a guarantee to kill them. Well, what happened, those on the experimental diet, with no omega-6 fatty acids, basically following the zone diet, they had a 70% reduction in fatal and non-fatal heart attacks. And you compare them to the best statin studies ever done, it's pretty remarkable. But you're looking at food as a drug. And the only thing that changed these patients was a decrease in the, ratio, in the amount of silent inflammation. And we also have other studies that the levels of these fatty acids, these omega-3 fatty acids in your blood, will prevent you from getting a fatal heart attack. If it's above a certain percentage, it's almost impossible to have heart disease. And what about cancer? Well, this was a patient, age 78, diagnosed with this cancer, and you can see the two tumors in the lung. He said, hey, I'm 78 years old. I don't plan to take chemotherapy. I'm not going to take radiation. I'm going to take a lot of fish oil. But I said, OK, it's your life. Well, here he is four years later. There's the tumors. And of about a 90, 93% shrinkage. And his blood chemistry is perfect. And what about neurological diseases like multiple sclerosis? There is no drug known to mankind that can reverse multiple sclerosis. You might slow it down, but you won't reverse it. What is multiple sclerosis? It's basically arthritis inside the central nervous system. But anti-inflammatory drugs can't get inside the brain, and good thing for us. But fish oils can. So when they gave these patients with multiple sclerosis high levels of fish oil, what happens? After two years, they start getting better. Unheard of. See, that's not supposed to happen. But at high enough levels, these drugs can act as anti-inflammatory agents. And here's one study from Harvard with bipolar depression, the most difficult of all depressions to treat, giving about 10 grams of these omega-3 fatty acids per day. They had to stop the study after three months. It became unethical. The differences were so great, they said, we cannot continue the study. This is one study we published a, a few years ago with children with ADHD has become epidemic. So we took children with ADHD already on their optimal drug dosage, gave them a lot of fish oil. How much? About 15 grams a day. The same amount we were giving Manuel Ribi. And what happens? Within four weeks, you see these dramatic changes in their behavior coupled with a reduction of silent inflammation. The day they stop taking the fish oil, the silent inflammation goes up, and their behavior benefits all deteriorate. But probably the most interesting case was, occurred about, oh, about three years ago. You might remember the Sago mine disaster on January 2006, when 13 miners went into a mine shaft, and there was an explosion, and they're trapped for 41 hours in a carbon monoxide atmosphere. When they finally broke through, 12 of the 13 miners were dead. And the one they pulled out was almost dead in the rifle. There's this picture there, Randy McCoy. And when he came out of the mine, he had heart failure, kidney failure, liver failure, and brain failure. When I say brain failure, there's a picture of his brain. Virtually no white matter whatsoever. It had been destroyed by inflammation. So his chances for living were pretty slim. And if he did live, he'd probably end up being a vegetable the rest of his life. Now his neurosurgeon called me up and said, I think I should give him some omega-3 fatty acids. How much should I give him? Well, I said, I think probably about 15 grams a day. He said, whoa, 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 he's going to bleed to death. I said, he's not going to bleed to death. He says, OK. So we airshipped out some of the omega-3 fatty acids. He started feeding him in the feeding tube. And two months later, he came out of his coma. And two months after that, he went home. And when he went home, his heart was normal. 
his kidney was normal, his liver was normal, and he gave a press conference worthy of any politician. And so what does the American medical uh, press say about this? It's a medical miracle. That's the best they can say. It's a miracle. They say, it was no miracle. It was an aggressive use of nutrition to reduce inflammation in every organ in his body. And if you do that, the body can basically heal itself. If you don't, it's going to end up basically not functioning very well. And there's uh, Randy, myself, and uh, Julian Bales, who's one of the top neurosurgeons in the country. And um, there's Randy's wife, who was pregnant at the time. He's since now given rise to a, another child, so he has two kids, two healthy kids. So everything seems to be working pretty well. <laughs> the clinical benefits of high-dose fish oil are incredibly robust. This is not, you know, vitamin C where there's no data. It's, it, this is hard data, whether it be heart disease, cancer, depression, attention deficit disorder, multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's, brain trauma, chronic pain, osteoporosis, fertility, and unfortunately back there, fat loss, like in Manuel Uribe. The data and saying, how can fish oil do all these things? Because if you give enough of it, it reduces inflammation. And that's why it's as close to a miracle drug as I'll see in my lifetime. 